It's taken 18 months to fully restore and repair the organ here at St Mary and St Giles, Stony Stratford. That's because the work is intricate and uses a whole range of skills. There were four major problems to be solved. To keep air in the right place, reservoirs of air have to be leak-proof. Over time, leather wears out and it becomes brittle and black. We've had to replace this with new, white English leather, which we expect will last for the next 30 to 40 years. Les Ross is co-director of FH Brown & Sons, who did the restoration. This is one of the bellows from the organ, and this is a large unit which stores all the air needed to make the pipe work sound. It has to be flexible in as much as this unit actually rises and falls as the air is taken out of the, uh, the organ. The corners in particular have to be very flexible, that's why we use this soft leather material. Once the outsides have all been sealed with this leather, we have to do the same on the inside as well. We've also had to repair or renew the timber in the soundboards, which was split. While this was being done, we needed to repair or replace many of the moving parts in the organ, such as the chest magnets. And then there were the leathers, felts, pull-downs and pistons. Here's what Jacob Collins identified before the restoration started. One of the main problems we're seeing is the pistons, um, which are these numbers that we press to change registration during a piece. Um, they're a bit unreliable, they don't always work when you want to, or they don't bring out the right stops. Piston number three in particular is a bit temperamental. As you can see, it doesn't work or it takes a while to respond. So for a piece I wanted to change these stops, I'd want them out quite quickly, um, especially for big organ works. If they don't change in time, the piece doesn't work and then the performance is bad. But the most time-consuming problem we've had to fix has been to get all the pipes cleaned and repaired. Dirty or broken pipes were a big problem for our organists. We had 1,731 pipes and they all needed cleaning by hand. OK, we've got a selection of pipe work here on our voicing machine. Um, what we're going to do is to um, bring the, the pipes to concert pitch, which is A440. Uh, these pipes are currently, fortunately, too long. They're flat. So in order to make them um, sharper, we have to cut the pipework down a fraction. This is what we call a tuning slide, which goes on the top of the, uh, on top of the pipe here. And when you tune a pipe, you get an latitude by going slightly flatter, by taking the uh, slide up, or sharper by taking it down. Obviously, as these pipes are too long, by cutting the pipework down a half an inch perhaps on these sides, uh, you've got the latitude to bring it up to A440. Quite simply, a, a flue pipe um, works differently because it's, the, it's like a whistle on the flue pipe. Whereas with a reed pipe, you have a vibrating tongue, which is normally brass, and this will vibrate as the air hits it. And the way to tune it is by moving this spring up and down, which makes the vibrating tongue longer or shorter. The longer it is, the deeper the note, and the shorter the vibration, higher the note. Before the restoration, Jacob Collins identified other problems. The trombone stop, the big base of the pedal, pedal stop here, is a bit temperamental at the bottom end. So the 16-foot trombone pedal pipe is sort of the big base of the organ. Um, the C sounds as it should, but then the B is not working at all. If we carry on, um, and if we stop there, it's metallic rattling, which is a clear sign that something's not right with the pipe. With such a major job to be done, it was the right time to make it as easy as possible for future maintenance of the organ. We've enlarged the building frames and the swell boxes. This also allowed us to introduce new ranks of pipes like the Tiers, Baldhorn, Nazard and Piccolo, which were never installed in the original organ. These pipes have widened the range of music that can be played. For an organist and for listeners, that's truly exciting 
because now our fine Willis organ will be able to sound out music that couldn't be played so well before. French composers like Messiaen and Gigou or Coubrin.